Am I the asshole for asking my best friend to break up with his uneducated, unemployed girlfriend so that we can be together? Whoa. We'll call him Dean and we'll call his girlfriend Helen. I'm a university student and I interned at a marketing company over the last few summers. Dean was my boss there and we became really close friends. Our friendship moved outside of work and I no longer intern there. The more we talked, the more I fell for him. He is incredible, hardworking, successful, funny, the whole package. His girlfriend is not, in my opinion. She's actually a loser. Look in the mirror! Helen dropped out of high school because of family problems. Apparently her mom has severe anxiety and depression, overdosed multiple times when Helen was a kid, and would have terrible breakdowns threatening to hurt herself if she was left alone. So Helen stayed home with her and still does when necessary because her father can't retire. Over the years, Helen has admitted it's weighed on her own mental health. She sees a psychiatrist and takes medication. She's developed her own irrational anxiety. She's had some jobs over the years, but would have screaming slash crying panic attacks while on the job. Subsequently, she never finished school School. Dean and I have talked about it many times. He insists she's doing her best and that she does all the cooking, cleaning, laundry, and yard work at her home. She gets a very small amount of money from her father for this weekly. She also does video game streaming and makes some money from that. Barely any, I think. They've been together for five years and he's come into terms with the fact that she may never work or get an education. Dean has a marketing degree, but he doesn't seem to care. He says he will provide financially and that he's okay with her being a stay-at-home mom someday or even just a stay-at-home wife. I DM'd him asking him why he's in love with her, how he fell in love with her, and just why? I don't get it. He could do so much what better. Loser. <laughs> so Dean said this. I fell in love with her for many reasons. She's sweet, kind, cute. She always sees the best in people, even with everything that she's been through. I think she's funny, beautiful, intelligent, and is always trying to do some good. I feel that she's random, silly, quirky, and passionate as f I like how competitive she is because I'm competitive too. I like that she's athletic. I love her giggle and I really love her smile. I like her singing voice and well, all of her voices. I like her hugs and I love her kisses. I like when her fingers are in my hair. I like the things that she draws or makes from hand. I like her taste in memes and I like her taste in music. I genuinely like the person that she is and I always have. I admire her a lot and will always want her for myself. Yeah, Dean. Beautifully written. I do feel like it was wasted on this loser OP. So I told him how I felt about him him, how I'm in love with him, and that I wish she wasn't around. He said, well, I'm lucky that she is. I don't know what I'd do without her. I told him he's just comfortable and he's staying with her because it's been a long time. Damn, take the... In hell. I've been at a place in my life where I thought I couldn't go on without certain people, but I survived and he would too. He said, well, I don't want to. So I'd appreciate you not saying things like I wish she wasn't in the picture. That's awful. If you cared about me at all, then you'd say I'm lucky to have her and just respect that. You know, he adamantly won't leave her. And I just don't understand why. With the little money she earns, she saves oh up to God. do very special things for him. She got him a cameo from his favorite actress, took him out to see his favorite sports team in the playoffs, got him a PS4 and she's taking him to see his favorite band this summer. She he also does sweet stuff for him, like give him random cards, drawings, paintings, crap like that. I think maybe that's the reason he stays with her, but I could do that stuff for him too. She's just had years to do it. I'm studying hard. I work as a barista to get through school. I love talking to him. I love spending time with him. He means the world to me. This is a restraining does anyone, order. Does anyone have any advice on how I could win him over? I just want him for myself. I'm the better choice for him. He just doesn't realize it right now. Am I the asshole? Yes. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? And then she keeps yeah. listing all these things the end and being like, what a fucking loser, you know? What are you talking about? There's more. No, we're not done yet. Jesus. Too many ants. The goat of this entire story. They say, link him this Reddit post and he'll be able to see where you're coming from in a way that's clearer than any text message, which are short oh. and impersonal. <laughs> see it with super clear eyes and he'll probably even realize he needs to take the problem person out of his life. Your replies in particular will show him everything he hasn't read. Holy f Good shit. I love it. So OP says, so you agree. She's the problem. Thank you. People in this post are judging me so hard and I'm trying to stand by myself because I know what I believe in here is right for me and him. I'm going to give him some time to cool off, but I'll link him this weekend. And then too many ah! ants responds. Might want to do it sooner than later. There's a decent chance the thread won't be around by the weekend. Oh my God. <laughs> OP responds, I'll send it to him now then. Just tell him to open his eyes and have an open heart. Maybe he will come around. Thanks for being understanding unlike everyone else. Dean responds what? in the comments. <laughs> I've never been this hyped in my life before. Dean said, L, a uh, comment towards her name, I guess. You've linked me this post so I could understand you better. And now I do. I love my girlfriend more than anything in life itself. I've been with her for five years for a reason. Not because of what she can offer me financially, but because of who she is as a person. That's 
that's what matters to me. I'll work three jobs if it means keeping her. For example, she once spent two hours traveling in the rain to bring my sick mom some homemade soup. Money doesn't buy that kind of heart. I never told you that story because you would get emotional and angry with me for even bringing up my girlfriend. I tried to be your friend because you seemed lonely when we worked together. You said your roommates don't talk to you and your family is back in your home country. We never had a future together. It's not even a possibility. I will protect that woman at all costs and it really hurts me to see you talking shit about her to strangers on the internet. I hope you'll have the integrity to take this down. Maybe it's best we don't stay friends for now and see where things head. You sent me the link to this thread and then you immediately blocked me on Instagram. Why? Mm. I don't understand what you want from me at this point, but it's no longer worth my energy. If you're ready to grow up and respect my relationship, give me a call. Don't give a call. Why are you inviting the madness into your life, Dean? Dean, Dean is way too kind for his for his own good sometimes. But props to Dean, man. What a man. That's what a supportive partner should be. Willing to protect your partner at all costs. Too nice to a fault. But hey, mad respect for Dean. Am I the a-hole for telling my boyfriend not to be his best friend's best man in his wedding? Why did you do that? What's that about? I, 26 female, have been with my boyfriend, 27 male, for two years. We recently found out that we're expecting a baby and we're both excited about it. He's got a best friend, 27 male, that got engaged to his fiance, 24 female, over the summer. And they're planning on getting married in May. He asked my boyfriend to be the best man. They've known each other since childhood. I'm the buddies for life. Now here is the conflict. The fiance and I had a falling out last year. We used to be really close, but she pulled a complete 180 on me and went behind my back. When I confronted her about it back then, she looked completely confused and asked what she did and how she can fix it. I wanted to believe her, but I felt that she should have known already why I was mad at her, okay? So your beef is with the fiance and not with your boyfriend's best friend. So why are you telling him not to be his best friend's best man? Because she's crazy. My boyfriend is still close to both his best friend and the fiance to this day since he's known them before dating me. He mentioned that he could bring me to the wedding in case something happens with my pregnancy. I told him I wasn't going to sit through and watch someone who betrayed me celebrate love. Well, I mean, that's your choice, babes, but like, don't force it on him. My boyfriend understood that, but he told me that being best man was very important to him. I lost it and told him that if I'm not going to the wedding, then he shouldn't be his best man and should prioritize me and the baby. He dropped the conversation after that. No, no, babes, no. I get that you've had a falling out with the fiance, but why are we needing to punish your boyfriend's best friend over a falling out with somebody else? That doesn't seem fair to me. I would also suggest trying to smooth things over with the fiance instead of just like forcing your boyfriend to do this thing that's gonna end a friendship that was there since childhood. It seems to me based on the way that you described it that she was very confused about what she did. She didn't know what she did in the first place and she tried to fix it. She asked you what she can do to make it better. So that to me kind of sounds like maybe she just really wasn't aware of what she did. Have you talked about it with her? I think it's in everyone's best interest that you talk to this fiance and like figure it out. I told some of my friends this and they said, though the pregnancy is important for him to be attentive to, I should move on from the drama. I agree with them and let him be there for his best friend's big day. Like I want to know what the drama is in the first place. You haven't really said any Anything about that like it really kind of depends on like what happened and you've chosen not to divulge that information I still stand firm because it'd be awkward with his fiance if I went and his best friend can find someone else to be his best man am I the a-hole I mean you're kind of being a bit unreasonable here like I'm not gonna lie like it is entirely your choice to not go to the wedding if you don't want to but you shouldn't be telling your boyfriend that he can't be there for his best friend edit since I forgot to add this people came to me and said that the fiance talked behind my back about something very personal to me at a bonfire last year. When I confronted her about it, she looked at me like I had no idea what I was talking about. Okay, like do we have proof of this? Maybe she did, but I still think that this is something that maybe you could just smooth over just to make it okay for everybody else. It's one day, all right? It's one day, one wedding. I personally think that you guys can talk about it and find some sort of common ground. You can tell her that she upset you. You can give her the opportunity to apologize. And if she doesn't, you know where you stand. You're the a-hole. Wait a second. You claim the two of you had a falling out, but also say she has no idea why you're even angry at her and you refuse to tell her 
what she did. You can sit at home pregnant and pissy, but you have no right to tell your boyfriend he can't be the best man in his best friend's wedding. I agree. Sorry to say. You have the right to attend or not attend if you want. Use the pregnancy as an excuse. I don't know. Say you're not feeling well or something. But like, don't force your boyfriend to ruin a childhood friendship because you don't like something that the fiance may or may not have done. Interesting that she left out how pregnant she will be then too. 35 weeks. I totally get it. Less than that. Why would you need someone to sit at home with you unless there is an issue? And even then, I was two months on bread, 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 breast. I was two months on bread, breast. With my second. My mother-in-law was also in the ICU for most of that time. He would visit her twice a day apart from working. I managed. That's a good point. That's a very good point. I mean, she did say recently that she found out she's pregnant and the wedding is in May. So she'd be around seven to eight months pregnant at the time of the wedding. I mean, she doesn't know how she's going to feel at that point. She might be well enough, but you can still kind of use it as an excuse to not go. I think she's still the a-hole for the record. She didn't communicate with the fiance and I hate making my personal issues with someone else's issue. This is the thing. Like if you're upset with someone, you really got to be like communicating with that person why you're upset. I just feel like they don't have the opportunity to make it right. And you're not giving them that opportunity. You're just staying mad and you're choosing to not communicate, which is kind of immature. Someone can absolutely have a healthy relationship with someone I don't get on with. Their relationship has zero to do with me. This wasn't a deal breaking situation as far as she's describing. That's how I feel. She didn't really necessarily do anything like cheat or steal. She just maybe talked a little shit or something. We can't even prove it. We don't even know for sure because there has been no communication. Discuss personal information means what exactly? Did she give all the details of something private or did she mention it? in passing without any specifics. OP has been having a rough time. I am just so confused as to why you're not sharing more about the issue that you have with the fiance. Like, I don't understand why you're keeping this a secret. This isn't even like your real account. It's your throwaway account. How come you're not divulging all the information that we need in order to tell you if you're an a-hole or not? <laughs> Also, OP said people came to me and said that the fiance talked behind my back about something very personal to me at a bonfire last year. How can you trust that secondhand information? This all sounds so juvenile. Yeah, like, how do you know for sure? And why? Because you haven't communicated. All right, guys, Reddit made a clear ruling. And for the most part, I think I agree with it. I wish I had more information. But for now, based on what you've shared... You're the a-hole. Stay home from the wedding if you want. That's your prerogative. You do whatever the hell you please, baby girl. But don't make your boyfriend do the same thing. That's kind of dumb.